Hello, my name's Don Ayres. I'm the technical manager for the Ladder Association. The Ladder Association, formerly the BLMA, has been delivering safety information, training and technical support for the use of ladders and step ladders for over 50 years. With the introduction of the work at height regulations in 2005, specific requirements for the use of ladders arrived in the workplace. In cooperation with the Health and Safety Executive, the Ladder Association has sought to provide an improved understanding of these requirements and how to go about ensuring they are met fully and safely. I'd like to talk to you today about step ladders and step stools and their use in offices, shops, the health and education sector and other similar environments. There are over two million ladders in use in the UK every day and a significant number of those are step ladders and step stools used to work at relatively low height. Many of these ladders are used in shops, offices, schools, hospitals and other similar work environments for essential everyday tasks that are low risk and short duration. A short duration task is one that takes less than 30 minutes to complete. But serious accidents may still occur at low level if you don't take the right steps. Remember, if it's right to use a ladder, make sure you use the right ladder and get trained to use it safely. We're going to discuss today two principal types of product for low level work. Step ladders, also known as standing ladders, and step stools. There are three common types of step ladder. Swing back, platform steps, and mobile steps. There are also three types of step stool. Fixed, folding, and dome type. The definition of a step stool is a stool with a seat or platform designed for sitting or standing on, which also incorporates one or more steps. And the significant characteristic of a step stool is that they are limited in height to one metre. Platform steps have a platform which you may stand on to work or you can use it for paint pots or other tools and materials. They are equipped with a knee rail at the top, which sometimes incorporates a small tool tray to hold lightweight tools and materials, such as screwdrivers and fixings. Remember, you must never stand on the knee rail to gain extra height. Swing back steps do not have a work platform. You should never stand on any tread which is less than 600 millimetres from the top of the ladder. That means never standing on the top three treads. This will ensure you always have a handhold available on the ladder. Mobile steps have wheels which allow them to be manoeuvred and positioned easily. The wheels either have brakes which are locked manually or lock when you start to climb. They sometimes have handrails on both sides of the ladder and guardrails around the platform which are higher than a knee rail. Never stand on the guardrail to gain extra height and never stand on the platform and pull yourself along or get someone to push you around on to same climbing down. Fixed type step stools are also referred to as stair types. They have a shallower angle than other step stools and deeper treads than the other types. Folding step stools come in a variety of forms. In the more traditional designs, the step part folds away when not required. In the more recent designs, the whole step folds flat 
for easy storage. And finally, there are dome type step stools, sometimes referred to as kick stools. They have wheels to provide mobility and generally have an automatic braking system which locks to prevent movement of the stool as you start to climb it. This table lists the standards for step stools and step ladders. Ladders in accordance with BS2037 class 1 are suitable for high frequency use in onerous conditions. They have a maximum safe working load of 130 kilograms. BS1139 class 1 applies to step ladders made of timber. They also have a safe working load of 130 kilograms. EM131 is the European standard for ladders. This standard applies to ladders made of steel, aluminium, timber and fibreglass. EM131 ladders are suitable for frequent use in reasonable conditions. You'll see the labels on EM131 ladders sometimes say 150 kilograms, maximum static load. Remember, maximum static load is not the same as maximum safe working load. An EM131 ladder has a maximum safe working load of 110 kilograms. Never use BS2037 class 3 ladders in the workplace. They are for domestic use only. In accordance with the requirements of the work at height regulations, you should plan ahead for work at height and carry out a risk assessment before you start work. While steps are an extremely versatile piece of equipment, they're not suitable for every task. Only use steps for tasks that take less than 30 minutes. Only use them for tasks that are light work. If any materials or equipment weighs more than 10 kilograms, then you'll need to carry out a detailed manual handling assessment. And only use steps or step stools for tasks where a handhold is always available. You're permitted to carry out tasks from step ladders and step stools where you cannot maintain three points of contact. An example could be changing a light bulb, putting a box onto a shelf, or pinning up a poster. But if you cannot maintain three points of contact, then you'll need to justify the use of the steps by taking into account a range of factors. These include the height of the task, the fact that a safe handhold is available, the work must be light, and there must be no side loading or overreaching. Your feet must be fully supported at all times. And if possible, you should tie in or otherwise secure a step ladder. Plan ahead for your work. Make sure you use the right size and type of product. It's the wrong time to decide it's the wrong step or that it's too short when you're halfway up it. Carry out a pre-use inspection and never use damaged equipment. If you find your steps are damaged, report them to the person who is responsible for their upkeep. Make sure steps and step stools are fully opened. Never use a step ladder as a leaning ladder. They're not designed for it and they may slip or collapse. Make sure the steps are positioned on a suitable surface. Be especially careful on shiny or uneven floors and if necessary, modify the floor surface. Never overreach. Get down and move the step if you cannot reach easily. And keep your belt buckle inside the sides of step ladders. Work face on to the task. 
don't work sideways on step ladders if at all possible. They're much less stable when worked sideways on. And don't work next to doorways with a risk or where there's a risk of persons colliding with you while you're working. The work at height regulations requires you to be competent for work at height. It's the same even if it's only occasional use at low level using step ladders or step stools. You must all but also be able to prove that you're competent to work at height if required. The Ladder Association delivers a specific and targeted course for persons who have responsibilities for use of step ladders or step stools in shops, offices, the health and education sectors and other similar workplace environments. The training also applies to the users of step ladders and step stools. So in summary, remember, if your risk assessment has shown it's right to use a step ladder or a step stool, one, make sure you use the right steps or step stools. Two, make sure they're in good condition and never use damaged equipment. And three, make sure you're trained to use them and then use them safely. I hope this information has been useful, but if you have any more questions relating to step ladders or step stools, then please do not hesitate to contact the Ladder Association. Thank you for listening.